I'm Ralph Mangum, and it's time now for our weekly recap of some of the top crime stories we had for you during the week of June 17th through June 21st. Here we go. According to police reports, the suspect in this case was found inside a fire department's facility during a reported break in in progress. He was charged with multiple felony counts and was taken to the Iredell County Detention Center and jailed under more than $100,000 bond. A court date is scheduled in early July. 33 year old Nicholas Allen Payrette of Mackwood Road in Mooresville was arrested last Thursday by Iredell County Sheriff's officers. He's charged with three felony counts of larceny after breaking and entering, two felony counts of breaking and entering to a motor vehicle, and single felony counts of first degree burglary and breaking and entering. Payred is also charged with four misdemeanor counts of damage to personal property and one misdemeanor count of disorderly conduct. Last Thursday, shortly before 6 a.m., Iredell County Sheriff's Office patrol deputies were dispatched to Mount Morn Fire Department on Mecklenburg Highway. They were called in reference to a breaking and entering in progress. The deputies quickly responded and found Nicholas Allen Payrett inside the department. He was detained and the deputies began their investigation. During that investigation, officers determined that Payrett also had broken into multiple vehicles and had stolen items. He also allegedly damaged several items in and around the fire department. Payrett was arrested and transported to the Iredell County Detention Center in Statesville. Bond was set at $102,500. He is scheduled to appear in district court on July 2nd. Reporting for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood. The Troutman Police Department is asking for the public's assistance in locating 40-year-old Jerome Cunningham of Charlotte. Last Thursday, officers stopped a vehicle that had been involved in a domestic violence incident on Weymouth Avenue. The vehicle was stopped at the intersection of the Charlotte Highway and the I-77 South on-ramp. The suspect, Jerome Cunningham, was a passenger in the car. Cunningham fled from officers on foot. Officers lost sight of the suspect in a wooded area and brought in a canine unit. The dog was unsuccessful in its attempt to track the suspect. Officers did locate 44.1 grams of MDMA and 15.38 grams of marijuana in the vehicle. Warrants have been issued for Cunningham's arrest. Anyone with information regarding the whereabouts of Jerome Cunningham should call Troutman Police 704-528-7610. 29-year-old Candace Renee Swanson of Maiden was arrested Sunday by Catawba County Sheriff's officers. She was charged with felony counts of possession of drug paraphernalia, resisting a public officer, Officer, larceny of a motor vehicle, two counts possession of methamphetamine, probation violation, and maintaining a vehicle or dwelling for controlled substance. In addition, Swanson was charged with misdemeanor possession of stolen property or goods and jailed under $20,000 secured bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. She is scheduled to appear in court on June 18th, July 9th, and July 25th. The jury delivered that verdict last week in Alexander County. It was in connection to a case from December of 2021. 38 year old Tony Timothy Martin was not sentenced to additional jail time. The judge gave him credit for time served and he could be released this week. On December 17th of 2021 at approximately 2.30 a.m., a speeding Ford Explorer was spotted in Taylorsville. Officers attempted to stop it as it increased speed and it ran a red light on US 6490. The suspect, identified as Martin, approached speeds of 100 miles per hour traveling west. Martin continued on to North Carolina Highway 127. Officers deployed stop sticks as he turned on to Antioch Church Road in the Ellendale community. Martin left his vehicle and aggressively approached a deputy, leading to the use of a taser. The suspect's heavy coat absorbed the shock from the taser. Martin jumped into a sheriff's office cruiser and rammed it into another, which was occupied by a deputy. The suspect tried to leave the scene as an officer fired multiple shots at the car. The patrol vehicle was struck multiple times. Martin was not wounded. One deputy sustained a cut when his cruiser was struck. 
and he was treated and released from a Hickory hospital. Martin fled on foot into a graveyard where he was chased down by officers and taken into custody. Martin was found guilty of assault with a deadly weapon on a government official, felony flee to elude arrest, unauthorized use of a motor vehicle, injury to personal property, multiple counts of resisting arrest, and a series of other traffic-related offenses. The jury found him not guilty of felony assault with a deadly weapon with intent to inflict serious injury. The judge gave Martin credit for 909 days served in the Alexander County Detention Center. He remained in that facility as of the time I'm filing this report. The Alexander County Clerk of Court's office said that Martin could be released by Thursday. Reporting for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood. 56-year-old Robin Scott Gibson of Bost Street in Statesville was arrested last Friday on three felony counts each of trafficking methamphetamine and trafficking opium or heroin, plus two felony counts each for the sale or delivery of a Schedule II controlled substance, possession of a Schedule II controlled substance, and possession with intent to manufacture, sell, or deliver a Schedule II controlled substance. Gibson was arrested after Iredell County narcotics investigators executed a search warrant at the Boss Street residence. The search warrant was issued after the sheriff's office received multiple tips from the community regarding suspicious activity at the residence. Narcotics investigators reportedly purchased crystal meth directly from Gibson at the residence and at other locations in the community. The search Friday led to the discovery of 58.4 grams of crystal meth, 9 grams of fentanyl, and assorted prescription pain medications. In total, investigators seized 138.25 grams of crystal meth, 9 grams of fentanyl, all of that with an estimated street value of $14,765. Gibson was placed in the Iredell County Detention Center under no bond. A superior court date was set for July 1st, with district court appearances coming up on July 8th. 8th and August 1st. 35-year-old Jesse James Shaw and 35-year-old Talitha Nicole Shaw, both from the same address on East Burke Boulevard in Conley Springs, have been arrested by Burke County Sheriff's officers. They were each charged with felony possession of stolen property. The Shawls were charged in connection with a larceny at East Burke High School on June 6th. Multiple items, including tools, were stolen from the Agriculture Department. After a tip from a citizen, investigators canvassed the area and spotted tools and other items consistent with the stolen property in the driveway at the Shaw residence. Detectives attempted to make contact with the homeowners. In the process, they saw more items and tools in the yard that came from the high school. A search warrant was executed leading to the recovery of additional stolen items that were found in an outbuilding and inside the residence. The Shawls were arrested on the scene without incident. Both suspects were placed in the Burke County Jail with bond for Jesse Shaw set at $15,000 unsecured, while Talitha Shaw was given a $15,000 secured bond. First appearances in district court were scheduled last Thursday in Morganton, with their next court dates coming up on July 1st. The investigation is ongoing. Additional charges may be forthcoming. 55-year-old Irvin Dwayne Reinhardt of Wood Road in Taylorsville was arrested by Conover police on a felony count of assault on a law enforcement officer with serious injury, along with misdemeanor counts of assault on a government official or employee, resisting an officer, and second-degree trespassing. Reinhardt was jailed in the Catawba County Detention Facility under a $50,000 bond. A district court date was scheduled on June 18th. A woman is charged with possession of methamphetamine. 27-year-old Shelby Lynn Glazebrook was arrested Monday by Lenore police officers. She was charged with felony possession of methamphetamine and misdemeanor counts of possession of drug paraphernalia and carrying a concealed weapon. Glazebrook was jailed under no bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. A district court date was scheduled for June 24th. A Hudson woman is charged with failing to appear in court. 59-year-old Donna Gail Fox of Augaborn Lane in Hudson was arrested Monday by Lenore police officers. She was charged with two felony counts, failure to appear in court. Fox was jailed under $110,000 secured bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. A superior court date was scheduled for August 5th. 
and a Lenore man charged with probation violation. 27-year-old Seth Lynn Hubner of Quill Ridge Court in Lenore was arrested Monday by Caldwell County Sheriff's officers. He was charged with felony counts possession of Schedule 1 controlled substance and probation violation. In addition, he was charged with misdemeanor probation violation. Hubner was jailed under $75,000 secured bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. Hubner has previous charges from April 2024 for felony possession of stolen goods and larceny. He was given probation and a 35-month suspended sentence. No court dates were listed. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. 25-year-old Khalil Rashawn Lawrence of Jacksonville, Florida was jailed today in the Catawba County Detention Facility on charges of attempted first-degree murder, assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill, and assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill inflicting serious injury. Lawrence is the suspect in a May 26th incident at the Gateway Pub and Grill on Highway 70 Southwest in Hickory. At that time, an officer was shot by Lawrence as the officer attempted to restrain a suspect in an earlier shooting at that location. That man was Kyron Lawrence, also from Jacksonville. Khalil Lawrence was shot when officers returned fire. Khalil Lawrence had been hospitalized in Charlotte for treatment of his injuries. Now in jail in Newton, bond for Khalil Lawrence has been set at $200,000 with a superior court date schedule for June 24th. Kyron Lawrence is no longer listed as an inmate in Catawba County. He has a district court appearance scheduled for July 30th in Newton. A Connolly Springs man who was convicted of indecent liberties more than 25 years ago has now been charged with failing to report a change of address. The suspect was arrested earlier this week by authorities here in Burke County. He has a court date scheduled next week. 44 year old Marcus Detonio Barnes of Miller Bridge Road in Connolly Springs was arrested Monday by Burke County Sheriff's officers. He's charged with felony failure to report a change of address as a sex offender. Barnes is on the North Carolina Sex Offender and Public Protection Registry as a result of a conviction in Nash County. He was convicted of indecent liberties with a minor on April 15th of 1999 in connection to a crime committed in January of 1997. Barnes was arrested shortly after 4 p.m. Monday at an address on Miller Bridge Road in Connolly Springs. He was brought to the Burke County Jail under a $1,000 secured bond. A district court appearance is scheduled next Monday, June 24th. 26-year-old Pedro Simon Lopez Lopez of South College Street in Morganton was arrested Saturday by Morganton Public Safety Officers. He's charged with felony assault by strangulation, inflicting serious bodily injury. He was taken to the Burke County Jail in Morganton under $15,000 secured bond. A district court date was scheduled this past Monday. No upcoming court dates were listed as of the time I'm filing this report. And reporting from Burke County, I'm Rob Eastwood, WHKY News. A Granite Falls man has been charged with possession of Schedule 1 controlled substance. 42-year-old Thomas Wayne Openshaw of Dry Ponds Road in Granite Falls was arrested Tuesday by Caldwell County Sheriff's officers. He was charged with one felony count, possession of Schedule 1 controlled substance. Openshaw was jailed under $25,000 secured bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. A district court date was scheduled for June 19th. In Today's top stories, WHKY's Ariana Mack gets us started with news from the Lincoln County Sheriff's Office. A check of a parking area in western Lincoln County resulted in the discovery of a stolen vehicle, a chase with the suspect, and shots being fired. Lincoln County Sheriff's deputies were conducting a routine check of an area where a taco food truck operates at the intersection of NC Highways 18 and 10. A vehicle was determined to have been stolen. When officers approached the vehicle, the driver fled south on Highway 18 into Cleveland County. During the chase, the suspect held a gun out of the driver's side window and fired at pursuing officers. Deputies returned fire and several other shots were fired as the suspect vehicle reportedly stolen in Catawba County, traveled south in Cleveland County. 
The officers were not struck by the gunfire and the suspect was also believed to be uninjured. The vehicle crashed on U.S. Highway 74 in Cleveland County. The driver jumped from the vehicle and fled the scene. A search was being conducted for the suspect. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thank you, Ariana. After Ariana recorded that piece, we learned that the suspect has been taken into custody. He is 30-year-old Jeremy Aaron Huffman, who was arrested today by Cleveland County Sheriff's officers. Huffman was jailed in the Cleveland County Detention Center where he's being held without bond. Huffman was charged with felony counts of attempted first degree murder and larceny of a motor vehicle. The suspect in this case was arrested following a search at a residence in Conover. That search reportedly resulted in the seizure of methamphetamine, MDMA and multiple firearms. The suspect was placed in jail under a large bond amount and is scheduled to appear in court next week. 32-year-old Xavier Latrell Smith of Allen D. Good Lane in Conover was arrested Tuesday by Catawba County Sheriff's officers. He's charged with five felony counts of possession of a firearm by a felon, along with single felony counts of trafficking Schedule 1 controlled substance, possession with intent to sell or deliver Schedule 2 controlled substance, maintaining a dwelling to sell or deliver a controlled substance, alter or remove a gun serial number, along with a misdemeanor count of possession of drug paraphernalia. On Tuesday, investigators with the Catawba County Sheriff's Office Special Enforcement Group executed a search warrant at a residence on Allen D. Good Lane in Conover. Investigators were assisted by officers with North Carolina Probation and Parole and the North Carolina Department of Adult Corrections Special Operations and Intelligence Unit. During a search of the home, investigators and officers found the items you're looking at right now. They seized 25.5 grams of methamphetamine, 51.6 grams of MDMA, five firearms and drug paraphernalia. Smith was arrested and brought to the Catawba County Detention Facility. He was jailed under $700,000 secured bond. And as I file this report, he remained in jail. His first appearance in court was scheduled on Wednesday. The next district court date for the suspect is next Monday, June 24th. Reporting from Catawba County for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Three-year-old Kevin Lee Hill Jr. of Goldfinch Court in Granite Falls was arrested by Hickory Police on June 18th on charges of felony first-degree kidnapping, assault on a female, three counts, breaking and entering with intent to terrorize or injure, communicating threats, common law false imprisonment, injury to personal property, and possession of a firearm by a felon. The suspect was taken into custody without incident at about 11.55 Tuesday night at an apartment on North Center Street in Hickory. Hill was jailed in Catawba County in the detention facility where he's being held without bond. An appearance in district court was set for June 24th in Newton. A Morganton man is charged with stolen vehicle possession and drug paraphernalia. 50